how do I make a poof wreath using a Dollar Tree 14 inch metal square wreath form? That is the question I got asked and that is what we're doing today. Hello my seed friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm going to do one of two methods for this type of wreath. The one we're doing today is called poof corner method and the one that we're going to do coming up is going to be called poof side method. In this video you will find detailed step-by-step -step instructions how to attach the pipe cleaners, deco mesh, ribbon and decor. Let's get started. To get started on this wreath I'm going to be using a 14 inch square metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree. 20 pipe cleaners and two rolls of deco mesh that are 10 inches by 30 feet which is the same thing as 10 yards you can also use one roll of the 21 inch deco mesh that is by 10 yards this wreath form has three rows i'm going to be using the inner one and the middle one step one in attaching our pipe cleaners is to take care of the four corners I'm going to be doing something different because I don't want to use hot glue. I believe that with weather, whether it'll be hot or cold, I just don't trust hot glue on a metal wreath form. And what we need to do is figure out how to put a connection here and here without it sliding. The next thing I'm going to do with my loose pipe cleaner is to create a little V just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and just wrap it around just like that. You can go from underneath or from top. It doesn't matter. You just need to wrap it once. We're going to take both of these pipe cleaners and we're going to give it a twist. Now we have a corner that's not going to move. To take care of this other corner, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to put it inside my little triangle or a V, whatever you wanna call it and I'm going to give it two twists. So now I have pipe cleaner right here that's not going to go anywhere and I can attach that commercial right here also going nowhere. Let's do this one more time. We're just going to put it inside and just fold it in half. That's it. After folding it in half, I'm going to create a little V and just wrap my pipe cleaner around the second row. I'm going to do the same thing with this side just wrap it around. After both sides are on, I'm going to twist them together. Next pipe cleaner, we're going to put it inside my little triangle or the little V, fold it in half, two twists, and that one's going on the inside. Now that the hardest part of this wreath is taken care of, let's have some fun. We need four more on the inside and we're just going to go straight in the center. Two right here and two right here. You can do one of two things. You can either just put the pipe cleaner right there on that first row, right in the middle, or you can use both rows. Just make sure you bring the pipe cleaner to this row and then twist it here or maybe just do a little twist right there. That way you know that it's going to stay here. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to go on row one and two, take it down and give it a twist at the bottom. One twist, then take one of your pipe cleaners, wrap it around just once, just one and do one, cause that's going to be enough to keep you at the bottom. And then just twist. But as I said, if it's going to be easier for you, just tie it right here in the center, that's it. We have eight pipe cleaners in the center and as you notice, all the pipe cleaners that are in this inner row, I'm facing in. Now we're going to take care of this middle row and this is going to be easy. We are just going to go on every intersection. We're going to go right here and just two twists. Our corner one is taken care of, so we're going to go to the next one and I'm going to do this going all the way around on all of the little intersections. All my pipe cleaners are done in this inner row. I have eight pipe cleaners and on this middle row right here on the outside, we have 12. So inner row, corners, sides, outer row, corners, intersections. That's it, not bad. 
Now it's time to start putting a wreath together. And this is the best part. This is when it just comes alive. I'm going to unroll, as you saw, I unrolled it kind of towards the table. Then I'm going to take the second roll and put it on top and we're going to bring it together. As far as attaching my deck mesh to my wreath form, we are going to go in the spiral like we usually do for a poof method. I'm going to start in the middle just because I think it's going to be easier when we're transitioning from this inner row to the outer row. And so we are going to do 10 inch loops and just go around from here to here to here. Go all the way around on the first row and come back to where we started. And then we're just going to come to this next one and continue going with our 10 inch loops going all the way around. First things first, let's attach two twists nice and tight. And then of course we are going to need a zip tie to zip tie it in place. I attached it about an inch from my pipe cleaner. Let's take care of the tail. And by the way, these little clippers are always in my Amazon store and in the description box below. I love these little guys, just so easy and light and just easy to work with, I like that. Now with the tip sticking up, I'm going to move it towards the center. I know that it's out of the way on top, at the bottom, and it's nice and secure. Now let's start making our loops. I'm going to put my wreath form where my pipe cleaner is, 10 inches, attach it to the pipe cleaner, two twists. At this point, I just point my pipe cleaners up. We're going to take care of them later. 10 inches, next pipe cleaner. I'm attaching my last loop in the first row and I'm going right where we started, right on top of that first one. Here is my last loop and that's going right on top of where we started our second row. I cut off a tail leaving about two inches and now I'm going to go with this underneath in the back, use a pipe cleaner to make sure we get to seal this part and make sure that it's out of the way, just like this. And the nub I'm going to turn towards the inside. Now it's time to start poofing our wreath out. We use two layers of 10 inch. So now it's time to just take the second layer that's on the bottom, push it down and out. Now it's time to decorate. I chose this grateful and blessed sign from the Dollar Tree. And you can either do something like this. You can put whatever sign you have right here and a big bow. For this wreath today, I decided to keep it square as is and put the sign in the center. Because my sign is taking up so much room at the top and the bottom, we are not going to be putting anything on the pipe cleaners in the center on the inner row. So I'm just going to twist this pipe cleaner, cut off about an inch from the actual connection, then bend it in half and backwards. I'm going to do the same thing to the center one on the other side. And now we are left with 18 pipe cleaners to fill with ribbon. The ribbon that I chose are going to be this beautiful leaf one and this plaid one from the fall collection from the Dollar Tree. We are going to need 18 of each and we're going to be cutting our ribbon into 11 inch strips. I'm going to zigzag it. And now I'm just going to take a few of these endings, fold them in half and dovetail them from inside going out. The two and a half inch ribbon is usually three yards at the Dollar Tree. So two rolls are going to be enough because out of one roll, I got 10 strips. Now that I have all my ribbon cut up, all I'm going to do is just layer one on top of the other, find my center, bring it together, and attach it to a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to attach it to all of the 18 remaining pipe cleaners. And then when I attached it, I'm going to grab my pipe cleaners and just twist them up a little bit, about an inch from the actual connection. Clip it, fold it in half and back.
all my ribbon is on what I'm going to do is just take the ones in the center and push them out and I'm going to prepare my centerpiece before I start opening these up the first thing I'm going to do is remove the jute cord and I decided to connect my pipe cleaners in four corners just so the jar is more stable I'm going to take all four fold them in half but I'm going to make a little see just like this I grabbed my two fingers and pulled and then with my thumb I just made it flat hot glue more hot glue and now you can take a piece of ribbon fabric I'm using some scrap felt pieces and I'm going to put them straight over where I put my hot glue and then on each side I'm going to add a little bit more hot glue now I'm just going to take my centerpiece pull the pipe cleaners on the inside flip it upside down and that is why I didn't do the ribbon because I knew that this part is going to just kind of mess that up anyway two twists until I know that it's in place and how I like it now the other side okay I think it's sitting where I want it to be I usually like to use the jute cord I take from the signs but this time that's not going to work because I need a much longer one so I'm going to grab another piece of jute cord and I'm going to connect it intersection on intersection if you don't do that and just do a loop somewhere in the middle it's just going to slide and then your wreath is going to slide so let's just connect right there on one side and then attach it on the other intersection and now we just need to make sure we tighten the little pipe cleaners from our sign the two holes on the jar I'm going to cover with some ribbon there's no wording on there so it's going to be easy to cover that and now it's time to do my favorite part which is open up the ribbon as I'm opening up my ribbon bundles I like to make sure that my ribbon is smooth and it curls towards the wreath so I just do that with my fingers put them together and just curl them towards the wreath What did you think of the wreath? I think it came out absolutely beautiful. It makes such a big statement and it's great on a door because it just it just looks big and rich and it's a Dollar Tree wreath for me, guys. For those who are wondering about Leo, he's behind the scenes napping right now while Louie is always with me. Here we go, taking a nap. If you would like to see more wreath tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up so this channel grows, this video grows, and I bring more and more wreath tutorials your way. Louis wanted to say thank you so much for watching, spending some time with us. We greatly appreciate all of you. Bye, my sweet friends. Mwah. <laughs>